against it. It's just like, cool, you like it. Sounds good. Exactly. You were devoted to it. Cool. Nice work. <laughs> I'm not, uh, if I'm not, whatever. But if you are, sure. You go your way. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Exactly. My name is Earl. Huh? What is your name? I'm Jeffrey. Jeff. Jeffrey. Ah, uh, cool. Do you mind I film? Huh? Do you mind if I film? Uh, for what? I do a YouTube uh, channel. And uh, I put all my videos up, so... Uh, right, right. And, like, since we're talking about the leaves and whatnot, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, sure, why not? All right, so you don't mind. All right, and if you want to see it, all you got to do is go to Kitchener, Ontario, Jesus, and okay. you'll find the rundown. Right. And then you'd have to look for February, whatever day it is today, 16th. Yeah. Uh, yep, 16th. And then you'd run into it, and then you could be oh, like, gotcha. hey, you know, this is uh, somebody I met in the, in the terminal. Guy. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about Jesus and whatnot, and faith, and faith and whatnot. Yeah, man, thanks for asking me, Alan. But, uh, no yeah, I believe that uh, Daddy, Daddy is the answer for everybody, man. Like, uh, like, like, you mind to sit down? I sure go for it. Yeah. So, like, we all got a hole in our heart, is what I believe, that every human being is, definitely has a void, you know? Yeah. And that void... We all try to fill it with whatever fits our fancy to fill it with, right? Yeah. So that could be the studies, anything, music, could be anything. Obviously, you got the worst of the worst, which is drugs. It could be the nine, the stuff that destroys people very quickly. Yep. yep. But no matter what, there's a void that some people can tolerate it better than others. But nonetheless, it's Jesus that brings that answer, 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 answer deep down in the heart. Mm. Him. And it's by his... His, his love, you know, like that. Uh, right. And because he, he fills that void. You know, like how we're born as babies, yes. and some are perfectly brought up in a nice, very secure environment, and others may have, supposedly, right? Supposedly. Yeah, I know. And some are born in it's kind not of. Supposedly, there's enough evidence to prove to not be supposedly. There's enough evidence for that, but, you know, go on. I get, I get what you're saying, yeah. In a secure environment full of love, full of everything, everything of all yeah. and whatnot. But that imagine that warmth of family, that warmth of everything filling your heart. That's what God fills us up with. But even beyond in a spiritual like realm or sense. Um, like to the point that he'll break us, but in a love way, like in a way that is uh, breaking us down. All our hard barriers, all of the stuff that we form as right. we grow, and then we get used to our surroundings, you know, like whether it's some hurt, whether it's some rejection, whether it's some life could be hard, whatever, yeah. it's not all love, Absolutely. it's no powder, yep, powder, yep. you know, and such. But God, He softens that all. He, uh, he just tells us so much that He loves us, and it, deeply, deeply, deeply. That's what I believe, and I've experienced myself very much, and it's like entering into the matrix, you know, it's like oh, gosh, yeah. something beyond, beyond the sight, beyond your yep. daily routine, and uh, that's what I like to share, tell people that he loves us, because I believe this is true, and I've experienced it so much that I find it valid enough to wish to tell others, you know, uh, Fair enough. Uh, thanks to God. So if you ever, in your life, ever feel that you uh, want to attempt to try Jesus to fill your heart right. to do that, all you got to do is cry out to him. Okay. Cry out like you would desperately just cry out with honesty. Right, of yeah. your own well, speech. Well, obviously, honesty, yeah. Got to be pure part of whatever, yeah. Hmm. That. Honesty, like, it doesn't have to be in the fashion of a 10... No. Repetitious phrase prayer. I mean, not everyone knows that stuff, so yeah. Exactly. Just ourselves. Yeah. As sons of God, as children of His creation. And uh, He meets us, bro. Yeah. That's it. Spiritually. But you gotta go there with a little nugget, with a little mustard seed size of faith. You read some of the Bible? No, not really. I know, I know, I know snippets of details, but not really the Bible, so I don't really know anything out of it. God, Jesus, when he was walking on the earth, told the disciples above all, faith, please, keep faith. Like, if you have a, the size of a mustard seed amount, speck of faith, 
you can with that, and that's not a lot. There must be people who have a lot more. Just that much, you could tell that mountain to go and place yourself there, and it will move right there and go. Okay. So that's what faith can do, gigantic things. Right. In order to break through, hack into this uh, matrix of God's love, you got to do it through faith. You got you gots to uh, go before Him and cry out. And when you cry out, have faith that you're going to get the known. And uh, if you do, you will meet Him, brother. And I, rec and I do say, call out to Jesus, because the only reason why we can break in to this, let's call it the matrix of sure. knowing God's love. Let's just say it's the matrix. It's like a veil, a matrix. Like some people are know it and other people will never see it, right? Yeah. They'll never see it because they'll never join them, be in no, the matrix. True, yeah. They'll never get into it. In order for us to gain the access, call it hack, hack in, you know, just, uh, these are just terminologies mm -hmm. to uh, yeah. paraphrase. Uh, through faith, faith, and we believe that because Jesus, all humanity, whether they're Mexicans or whatever, have known in their interior being that we are inferior to some supernatural being. Yeah. And that's the whole reason why I believe, I believe, I, I think that it's why they would all do sacrifices, right? You remember the Mexicans? I'm talking about before the Spaniards went there. Yeah. They were like killing their babies for the sun. Yeah. You know, like they're killing babies for the sun. Yes. Exactly. All the, the Buddha people, I don't know what they do, but it's been common practice in humanity to believe that you need to give an offering to God. Yeah. Whether you believed he was the Jewish God or some other one, there was a need to give an offering. Yeah. And that's a common humanity thing towards the supernatural unknown. Whether they created it into a statue or something like that. But um, that inferior of human to, to the almighty God is because, well, if we are created by him, then we are a little smaller than him in that essence, if that be the case. And second of all, if we believe that man is in a fallen nature of state, that's why there's hatred, bitterness, killing, death, and all such on the planet right now. If we believe that that's because, as the Bible says, because God gave man and woman the chance to be his friend or not, and to like listen and take his word for it, to not eat that fruit. You remember that story, Adam and Eve? The fruit one, yeah, I remember that one. Like, don't eat that fruit right there. You can eat everything in the garden all you wish, but just don't eat that given uh, yeah. fruit from that tree, because if you do, you'll die. And you'll know the difference from good and evil. Yeah. Those two basic facts. Uh, the devil came as a form as a, as a serpent and uh, tempted the girl first, the weaker one of the two, if we think that women are somehow the weaker sex. Yeah. And I think it's kind of general to say so, even though they could be much stronger than men. Um, he went to the woman, the woman fell, but he said, why don't you try the apple or something? He said, no, I, I wouldn't dare because our daddy, God, told us, don't, because if I did, we, we would surely die. And then the devil said, you won't surely die. For God knows that if you eat that, you will become like God. Your eyes will be open, and you'll know the difference from good and evil. And she was enticed with, first of all, the devil lied in saying that what God says was not true. But it was. Oh, I'm pointing it over there. But, uh, <laughs> but saying that what he said was not true um, was denying the very facts. So it's like saying, hey, if you drink rat poison, you will die. Your mom told you. And then your little buddy comes around saying, hey, drink it. Oh, mom told me I'd die if I drink it. Um, you won't die for you'll hallucinate and have a good old time in an hour. You'll be back to the normal state. Right. And then I, you're like, true? First of all, what your friend's doing is trying to tell you your mom's a liar. First of all, yeah. she's, she's trying to cause a breach between you and your mom because if you re think that your mom would lie to you, it would automatically almost put her in an enemy state towards you. Like like a hiding something from you, and if it's good, why would you hide it from me? Like, why would you hide? It's kind of posing, the devil is posing God as the enemy when he really wasn't. He was friend. But the devil was trying to twist the mind of the girl woman 
twist. She believed. She thought, wow, I must be missing out on something. So she went. She did it. Man fell. Nature fell. Uh, women would have pains when they uh, have babies. Men would have their own... Uh, the bread through the sweat of their forehead, there would be death on the earth as well. And plus that, that's why there's killings going on on the planet today, as we see when they spur out and go nine out people with machine guns and all that. Whether it's for war's sake or for depression's sake, anything of anything, fallen nature of humanity. Um, why? Because the true death when man uh, decided, his the husband as well chose to eat it once the wife did. It was like, try it. You ate it? Yeah, it's good. They both did it. First thing is they recognized they were naked. Uh, God said to them, Adam and Eve, where are you? And then they said, uh, we're hiding from you for we heard your voice. But the question is, if daddy and children, I hear my dad's voice, yeah, how are you? You didn't hide. This is the first time that the children hid from daddy, meaning Adam and Eve, from God. Yeah. They felt the shame, shame. And they said, because we were naked. And God asked him, God asked him, who told you that you were naked? He said, well, my wife that you gave me, because God gave him a wife yes, yes. his first, uh, ate of that tree that you told us not to. Now the eyes are on Eve. You ate from the tree? He said, now the, she's going to point at the devil, the serpent. It's all a, a domino effect of, of uh, blaming. The serpent came and told me. God said, all right, because you did this, blah, blah. Basically what happened is death. But above all, there was a blockage between mankind, humanity, people kind, however Trudeau says it nowadays. You remember that one, people kind, mankind. Between man and God, women and God, there's, there's a, a separation, a separation. Jesus, out of all humans, whether they heard about the Jewish God or not, they recognized they needed to make offerings to a God, to appease him somehow, to kind of bring him to cause favor towards us, to do something of good. And out of many years where, let's say, the Jewish people would make sacrifices of lambs and goats for the sins of people, they would meh, and cut their throat, and that would be considered hopefully appeasing for their sins sins like from a fallen state yeah. we believe that through jesus through what he did and it's a fact that many historians find it totally innegable if you could say it like that to think that jesus was not a historical figure the only little question is do you have the faith to believe that he was god see because he definitely was a historical figure just as much as any other people person but this historical figure busted history in half ad bc even though they call it ece right now something common era but you do google on that when you find out why is it called it? ah because before it was called before christ after there's no way of getting away from it jesus was the one that split history in half he was an important human being that walked this earth the very question is is he what he, the whole story is telling us that god came into a human body and did what he did we believe that god came as a human he did no sins. In other words, he was a blameless like lamb. Then, politics and whatnot, out of jealousy, they killed Jesus. From their point of view, they were getting rid of a nuisance. But in God's point of view, he knew it was going to happen. That uh, his, he was going to be crucified. And he gave his life up for it to happen. And by his dying on, the, on that cross, um, the perfect sacrifice was done once and for all. Meaning that... There will be no more need to kill any more animals, no more need for any sacrifices. It's finished. Through that payment of a life that was perfect, and it was not any life, it was God Himself offering the sacrifice for us. No longer, it was His own hand that did it. God for humanity providing. Through that payment, there's access. There's this access again to the days of as it was in Adam and Eve before uh, they took of the fruit and died. There's a that the matrix that they were in when they didn't think they were naked, when they heard God's voice and they're walking in the garden and there was a closeness and intimacy with Daddy, with the Creator. That intimacy is bought back by that sacrifice on the tree of the cross and whatnot. And the per paid purchase, whatever price, has been fully covered now. 
All you got to do is believe in Jesus and believe that through him, there's reconciliation with God again, but perfect reconciliation, meaning that if I sin tomorrow by hazard, by any chance, I mean, like, we're going to try not to, right? Well, hopefully try not to. Whatever sin of it's like stuff that obviously doesn't please God from what our conscience tells us. No, we won't. But the facts are that's beyond the point. The point is that there's walking with God again. There's walking with God again. That's it. Because it, when you walk with God, the Bible says, by nature, the fruits of the communion, meaning the oneness with God, will just simply, like chitlings, you said, or whatever, cut off the stuff that's no good. Like if he or she was a prostitute, but he or she just began to walk with God. It will only turn out as a fruit very within time, simply within time. She'll be healed from that life, brother, oh, or he, whatever. Uh, these things will fall off because it will just be a nature, but it's not because, oh, she's religious, so she's going to stop being a prostitute, she's going to throw out the cigarettes, and she's going to not curse anymore. And then she could finally declare herself a saint or a religious person. It's not about that, brother. It's about accessing God, knowing Him very, very intimately, closely, like in a marriage where we are like the wife and He is our husband, close or daddy and children. And that's it. It's just walking with Him, brother. Getting to know Him, knowing that He loves us so much and being in love with Him, being entranced with, with such ecstasy of walking with Him just that and uh, that's only that's through Jesus that we got this access but there's he did it the only thing on our side to do is have faith faith to access and that access is not like I have faith I access but yeah I'll enjoy it when I die and I go to heaven no it starts right here like the access is right now we Will enjoy the access like being in the uh on the other side the matrix if you will uh just as i say closeness mighty mighty ever closeness with uh, a one who loves us uno one who loves us yeah that, that's that's what i believe brother and uh and i've experienced it myself uh that's true man that's fair that's it. Do you speak a second language? I do not. No. I don't, yeah. Speak no second language. No. Um, so if you ever wish to call out and join this uh, matrix, yeah. which means like get into God's heart, all you gotta do is call out to yeah. man. But honestly, as I said, and call out on his name, Jesus. Say, Jesus, it could be really it's throughout your own words, but the main thing to recognize is thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you that you, you're alive, you rose again. We believe the third day you rose again, you're alive. And uh, come into my heart and walk with me from here on. With me. Out. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Yeah. Como esta? Jesus yeah. nos you, Did I ever show you this? That's the solution. And it's just between you and him. Not, uh, like, you might never see me again. But that's between you and him. Me and God. Yeah. That's the good how are you, Alex Alejandro? Uh, you're, I'm Will, Mel Colombia. This is Alejandro. No, 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 I'm Wilman. What's your name? Okay. Jeffrey, Earl, brother. I'm happy to meet you, bro. Yeah. That wasn't bad. So I was just speaking with my friend right here. Yeah, man. So what have you been up to? I want you to pray for my mother, okay? She's in heaven, okay? All right, my mom passed away. Recently? No, she passed away in 2017, January 2nd, 2017. That's me, mama. Yeah. 2017. Yeah, I put her the flag in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. She was living here in Canada, right? Yeah. Huh. She couldn't make it to Colombia, man. After a long time. He's got the thing here. Click on, uh, click on something here. Click. A, have you? Do you have internet? So do you mind I film you? Uh, no, 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 I'm film filming you. right don't now. Film okay. I want to show you something. Huh? All right. Have Jesus loves us. Have you seen this movie, man?
Yeah. Heaven is for real. I want you to watch that movie. Heaven is for real. Yeah, it's the story of Todd Burpo. Huh, I never heard of him. Yeah, Heaven is for real. Huh. Yeah. All right. Take a picture of that. Yeah. Heaven is for real. Yeah. You All bring right. it close. Yeah. Take a picture. Yeah, uh, it's gr filming right now. Okay. Grabando. Heaven is for real. So, what yeah. is it about? You'll see it. When you see it,